One of our primary interests in the Fish and Invertebrate Ecology Lab is a better understanding of the seasonal, annual, and long-term changes in fish and invertebrate diversity and abundance in the Road River subestuary, and how these animals respond to environmental variables such as salinity or temperature. Further, we're keenly interested in patterns of migration and a better understanding of how these animals are utilizing the habitat within the estuary. In order to collect the data necessary to answer these important questions, the Fish and Invertebrate Ecology Lab has conducted a long-term trawl survey in the Road River uh, since 1981. The duration of this study, almost 30 years, um, provides unique data set with which to answer not only seasonal and annual patterns of abundance, but also long-term decadal changes in, in abundance and diversity of these species that aren't necessarily captured in shorter-term studies. The gear we use in our survey is called an otter trawl. And this is a very common piece of gear. It's a simply a smaller version of the same gear they use in the commercial shrimp fisheries in the Gulf of Mexico uh, on the Atlantic Ocean. The gear is actually quite simple. The front of the trawl is two, these two large doors. The doors are weighted and they help keep the trawl on the bottom. And what they also do is help to spread the trawl wide open through the force of water. The second component of our trawl is the tickler chain. And the tickler chain is important for making sure that we capture those animals that are right on the surface or simply buried right below the surface. This helps to scare those animals up so that they're caught by the trawl which is trailing behind. The trawl itself is made up of several portions. There's what we have is this, uh, a long weighted line. This helps to keep the bottom of the trawl right in contact with the, with the sediment, with the bottom of the road river so that we get those animals are captured. And also an, a float line on the top. This helps to keep the, keep the trawl open so that we're capturing those animals as well. All of the animals that are captured in the trawl are then funneled down through the force of water into the cod end. The cod end is made up of a, a bit of a smaller mesh so it helps to retain all those animals and it's securely tied off at the end so that everything that we capture um, when we retrieve the net back into the boat uh, is still in that net. The survey is conducted at four stations within the Road River and nearby Chesapeake main stem. One station at the head of the river, two stations at the mouth of the river, and one station in the Chesapeake Bay proper. The net is deployed using a hydraulic winch. As the net enters the water, the trawl doors force the net open. Typically, about seven feet of cable is deployed for every foot of water depth, which allows the trawl to fish efficiently. The trawl provides a very efficient means of capturing animals, such as fish and crabs, that live on or near the bottom. The otter trawl is deployed for a 10 minute interval and pulled a distance of approximately 900 meters behind Cirque's 41 foot steel hull research vessel. Upon completion, the net is retrieved, the cod end is untied, and the catch is emptied into waiting bins for data collection. From this point, the catch is sorted into fish and crabs. The first 20 fish of each species are measured, the data are recorded, and the fish are released. Once 20 fish of any species have been measured, the remainder of that species is counted, data are recorded, and the fish are released. Data is also collected for all captured blue crabs, including size, limb loss, and molt stage. Once this data has been collected, the blue crabs are also released. The accumulation of almost 30 years of otter trawl data has resulted in the collection of 61 different species of fish and crabs including several important fishery species such as striped bass, blue crabs, and horseshoe crabs. In particular, bay anchovy, spot, white perch, croaker, hog choker, and blue crabs account for nearly 87% of the catch. The other 55 species are encountered on a less frequent basis, and most of these remaining animals are rarely caught. The data we collect in our trawl survey are providing important insights into the population dynamics of fish and crabs in the Road River system and are used to examine seasonal, annual, and long-term trends in these fish and crab abundances. In addition, in conjunction with the long-term trawl survey, short-term experiments provide a much better understanding of movement and migration in the system, as well as habitat use and partitioning um, over the course of a season. Ultimately, the data provide insights into the population dynamics of key fishery species such as striped bass and blue crabs in the Road River and Chesapeake Bay. Understanding these patterns is critical to predicting how our ecosystem may respond to the threats of global climate change, human population increases, and watershed development.